Okay, so in this video we're going to be covering some few concepts about Java. So um, some introductory concepts. So we'll start off with creating a new project. Um, so I will create a new project here. Next, um, so when you say that, calculation, cal calculation. Okay, so we'll start with a project like that. Start the project in a new window. Okay, and we'll open it up like that. So that's still an old window. So let's Close this one. Close this window and see if there's a new. That got a bit of a weird spelling there, but anyway, that will do the trick. That calculation. So we have this one sitting here as a small screen. We open it up, um, and then what we want to do is I'm just going to create a new file. I'm going to create a readme here. create a new file and then I'm just gonna copy some of that content so in there so we're gonna say these are the topics that we're gonna be covering in this um, um, in this video so main and then what the class will be writing all the context will be a VAT calculation. So write a Java class. Okay, so in this case, write a Java class that adds 15% VAT to a sales amount. Um, so we want to do this. We want to say, hey, let me add mark down here. This is in VAT to a sales amount for a product class should show the amount excluding VAT. Okay, so for us to do this, we'll need a few things. So um, we're going to start off by creating a package. So I'm going to create a package here, and I'm going to say, I'm going to call it VAT for now. And then in that, I'm going to create another package, which I'm just going to call um, main for now. Uh, so that's where we're going to ultimately call our class from. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new class here. And I'm just going to call this. So we call it VAT calculation. The thing to bear in mind is that Java classes always start with uppercase. So in this case, I said VAT calculation. This VAT calculation sits in the VAT package here. Um, so we will write our code there. So the important thing is we want to say the following. So we're going to look at main methods, constructors. Um, and then we're going to look at um, static and non-static methods, Java class file names, and so forth. Okay, so the important thing to note initially, so what we want to do is we want to create a class. So let's have a look here. So we're going to create a new class. Java class here, which I'm just going to call that app. So I'm going to do this here and I'm going to add a main method in here. So, and then sys, I'm going to do that, press tab, and then I'm just going to say that app. Okay. So if I run this, you see public static void main. If I have that, then I can run the class. So in this case, it should just print that app to the screen. We're running it and it's printing it out. So if I were here to change this, for some reason I'm calling it that, you'll see note that the code will compile, but it's not runnable anymore. So it's very important for class to be runnable. It needs to be public, static, void, main. If I make it static like that, again, code will compile. There's no compilation errors but the code won't be runnable, okay? Another way to do this might be something like this, using var args, I can actually do something like this. Code will still be runnable, so there's two ways. 
I can actually, actually three ways. I can do this to make it runnable. I can also do this, okay, or I can have a var arc here, okay. So because ultimately this and this is exactly the same because it's just how you define arrays, okay. So that's our class that we want to run. Then ultimately what we want to do now is I want to be able to say my vat calculation. I want to create a new instance of that class. So I want to be able to say vat calculation. And then um, I'm going to say, okay, let's, let's say it's 100 Rand. And then what I want is I want to create an instance of that class, which is vat calculation. And then what I want is I want vat calculation dot get um, total amount okay and this is the amount including that okay this is the total amount including that um, so I need to instantiate a class using new so if I go here if I go here this should if I run the code okay so then this should print the amount excluding that okay so this is going to be print the amount excluding excluding that okay then okay so in fact we want to do it differently so that i want to have this get total amount okay so we want to so the get amount should be excluding that and get total amount should be the one including including that okay so those are the two amounts that we want so this is a class that we would like to write um, so you'll see at the moment there's a few errors the first error is here so when we're trying to call that inclusion we want to specify amount so this is called a constructor which is like a special method in JavaScript when Java so to write a constructor, we create a method that matches the class name with no access modifier. So if you see here, it's still a problem here. It's what we actually want is we want this to take in int and we want to say amount. Okay. So now if you go back, you'll see there's no error there anymore because amount can go into it. Okay. So what we want to do is um, we want to put the amount in, okay, and then we want to be able to run a VAT calculation. So now I also need to do this. I'll need to say, hey, let's do public int get amount, okay. So in this case, we want to get the amount back that is specified in the constructor so um, in this case what I need to do is I need to create the instance of amount I guess I'm going to say this dot amount equal amount so now what we're doing here is we create the instance variable that's called amount so we do something like this that amount and we just say hey it doesn't have a value initially and then what I do here is I will say return amount okay so now I've got an instance variable of amount you can still see here there's no error here now but there's still an error down here so now so what we actually want to do now is for this one we want to have another method okay and we want to call that get total amount and that amount should return the amount multiply by 15 at the moment we do something like this okay so we want to be able to be able to add 15 percent which is a vat amount to our amount but now we're getting an error here and that is because you can't multiply int with a double int doesn't have any decimals um, this amount here does have decimals so in this case our total amount should not be a int it should actually be a double okay so we want to do something like this and now if you see everything should be fine so if we run it here you run this code you will see that we are getting this amount here 
So as you can see, we're getting kind of a bit of a weird thing here. So it's not rounded properly. So let's see what we can do here. So what we could do, I don't know if it's going to make any difference. We're going to say, let's multiply this by okay, 115. Okay, so let's just see, 115 should give us exactly the same. Divide by 100. So if we run that, okay, so that looks a bit better. So now the rounding is a bit better. It's exactly the same amount. So we're getting that back. You see the dot zero there is for the fact that it is um, actually doing this as a double, so if you were to re okay, so let's not do that now. Okay, so now we basically have have the basics going. We can get a mount out that is doing the calculation. The important thing, the few things to watch out for here, is this. So this refers to instance variables on the class. So in this case. We have this. So if I do this, it grayed out. So what I'm assigning here, I'm assigning this amount to itself. If I add this, what I'm actually doing is I'm taking this variable here and I'm assigning to this variable that's coming in here. And then, so yeah, so now we have basically what we needed to do. So let's have a look. So write a Java class that adds 50% to the sales amount. So let's try it for different amounts. So if I run this for 150, okay, I run this. I run this um, 172. I run this for 200. I run this for here. Then I will get 230 rand, which is which is correct. Okay. The important thing to watch out for here now. So let's see. Um, so we're calling this because our VAT calculation amount is not in the same package as our VAT app. We need to import it. So if I were to do this, okay, you'll see there's a compilation error. And that is because I haven't imported it. So in this case, I imported it. I say vat.vat .vat calculation. And now this class is accessible in here. So another thing to note is the first thing in a class is always the package name or nothing. So in this case, if I were to move the import statement above my package, you'll see there will be an error. So that's very important to note that the package name needs to be above the import statement. Okay. So, and the other thing to note is the fact that if I want a public class, it needs to match the file name. So in this case, if I were to rename this to the VAT calculation, First of all, you'll see this area here with the constructor, but you'll see that the VAT calculation doesn't work. Okay, there's an error here. VAT calculation is public. It should be declared in a file named the VAT calculation. Currently, we're declaring it in a file called VAT calculation. So if I do a public class, then that should match the file name. And the other thing is that a constructor needs to match the file the class name so if i have another class here and i call it the fat calculation i'll call it the vat calculation calculation okay so if i do that that will be valid okay i'm not using that at the moment i can actually use this class this vat calculation class I can now use it in any other class inside of the VAT package, but I can't use it inside of the VAT app that sits in a different package. So if I were to say new the VAT calculation, so let's just copy this from here, new the VAT calculation, you'll see that that, that will work. But if I do this, the VAT calculation, then you'll see it doesn't know what it is. But what I can do is I can go to another another class inside of um, in this and I can say other VAT 
app, so a class that sits in the same um, in the same package. I can say main, and I can just say new. The new VAT calculation cannot resolve the VAT calculation. Okay, so I can't even use it. So let me just see here. If I say import vat dot the vat calculation, you can see that I can import it here. Um, the thing. So if I were to do that. So in this case, okay, I want to check here. So if I have an import statement here, so I can't even use it outside of the class. So let's have a look. That calculation, I have a main here. New that new vet what is it called it's called the vet calculation so if I'm here the new vet calculation so if I do this here so that will work so it works in the same class but if I do this control X default access in the same class I can't even do that control V Control Z. Let's just go here. Okay, I just had a miss. I had a misspelling there, which is which is kind of makes sense. The that girl Q. Okay, it's because my class is actually misspelled. Okay, so if I go here, girl Q, girl Q, relation, calculation. So I can access that from another app within the same package, another class in the same package, if it's default access in a class. If I'm going here and I'm doing this, and I'm going here, you can see now I'm in a different package. I can't get access to it. And what did I say here? The only way that I can get access to it is by actually using the path, the, um, the name, and even then, I can't get access to it because it's not public. Okay, it cannot be accessed from outside the package. So if it have default access, it can only be accessed from within the package that it has been declared, which is a VAT package. So I can't get it from the main package. Okay, so we have looked at a few things now. So we have looked at the main method, we looked at constructors, we looked at this. We haven't looked at static and non-static methods, we look at that now. And then we looked at Java class file names. Um, and what we're saying there is if you want to create the public class, the class name need to match a file name. If it's a non-public class or a um, default class, then it can be called in a different file name. So that's it for now. That's a brief introduction to some JavaScript concepts that we would need for the OCA.